I was like on the edge of my seat, like it, it was intense. But then it comes to this fucking halt. What up, everybody? Welcome to the Jay Meany Review. I'm Josh Meany, co-host of The Power Button. Today, I'm going to give my review on... The M. Night Shyamalan... La, 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 la. The M. Night Shyamalan movie, Glass. I really liked almost all of this fucking movie. Almost all of it. The movie starts, and it's, it's pretty much the movie that you want. And you want to see some sort of... <laughs> you see David Dunn go after the Horde be on his mission like it's set up at the end of Split. It's what you want to see. In the first 20, 20 minutes of this movie, it delivered. It fucking delivered. I was like on the edge of my seat, like... It, it was intense. But then it comes to this fucking halt. A lot of people are talking about that's that's where it lost them. They didn't like when it really slowed down. I think that's some of the best shit in this fucking movie. The kind of confrontation that you would want, that psychological shit. I like that shit. About that shit had that shit james mcavoy his performance was phenomenal he won up split i know i know oh, that's fucking impossible no. no 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 he did it he did it his performance was great of course i think samuel l jackson did great you know coming back mr glass the movie's called glass the movie's called glass you don't see this motherfucker till like halfway through the fucking movie. I'm sorry. You may see him, but there's no... You don't get nothing from him. Bruce Willis? I don't know. A lot of people are saying, oh, he's back. And he just plays Bruce Willis. And I saw reviews that were like, oh, he's back. You know? No, he's not. He's still... He's just Bruce Willis. I think the character arc for what they did with David Dunn in that movie, I think it's absolute bullshit. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I told you guys, I fucking, I like this movie, most of this movie, all I've been doing is mostly shitting on it. Look, look, this movie, for me, there's like, maybe two or three things, right? I think my cat's fucking running around causing some mayhem. There's two or three fucking things that if they would have done differently, this would have been a phenomenal movie, in my opinion. I think the movie would have been great. When they fucked up, when, no, 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 when M. Night Shyamalan, Shyamalan's it, he, f oh. there's some shit that's just absolute horse shit. There's some shit in that movie that I don't care who you are, you're gonna look at it and be like, I, no, I don't like that. No, it's absolute bullshit. But look, M. Night Shyamalan, when he is great, he's great. Like, look, I still like this movie. This movie isn't like Unbreakable, and it isn't like Split. It's a whole other fucking movie. And I think that's crazy that he was able to do that with all these characters. Like, when it had action, the action was, it was, it was fairly good. It wasn't intense like these Marvel movies and these DC movies. It was more grounded. But, I mean, like the world they set up in Unbreakable. There's just, there's a lot more that I like about this movie than I dislike about this movie. And that's why I still really fucking like this movie. And every performance in this movie was great. Except Bruce Willis. I mean, would I say he wasn't great? No, but he was just Bruce Willis. He was just Bruce Willis. And that's all right. They brought the same actor to play his son. That played his son in Unbreakable. They brought the same actor back and he was all right. He was probably the only performance that lacked things he would deliver and i'm like I, 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 I don't. other than that i mean look am i gonna say you shouldn't go see this movie no i think you should see this movie i think there's some people who walked out of it and had no fucking problem with it that's it's the great thing about movies if you like split you like unbreakable you're gonna you're a hundred percent gonna find some sort of enjoyment out of this movie especially james mcavoy's performance i'm telling you he one upped it from split he it, it blew my fucking mind Overall, I really like this movie, but of course, he fucking M. Night Shyamalan Shyamalan did. Alright, so, I'll give it... What the fuck would I give it? What do I give a movie that I think is great, but has such bullshit in it? I'll give it a 4 out of 5. I will. I'll give it a 4 out of 5, because I like way more than I disliked. 
there's some great shots. If you're a fan of M. Night Shyamalan, you know what I'm talking about. The, the certain shots he does in that movie that I'm like, that's M. Night Shyamalan. Sparkle on it. Okay, M. Night Shyamalan is still a he's still a great director. He just can't always 100% land it like Split and like Unbreakable. He makes movies like The Happening and fucking The Last Day of Render. But anyway, anyway, four out of five. Even though I'm shitting on it, I I personally really like this movie. I really do. It's just some shit about it. All right, so that's my thoughts on Glass. Be sure to check out the Power Button podcast every Tuesday. Check out Darren Unfiltered. Drops usually every Saturday and through the week, and check out the Jay Meany review whenever, whenever I drop stuff, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, till next time, guys. <laughs>